Good morning, lovelies. So I want to try out this Halloween look. And I thought this would be the perfect time because I've got a little bit of time today. Um, so we're going to try this out. We're going to try the Bride of Frankenstein look. So I have an idea for how that's going to work, but <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if it will actually happen. So I'm going to use Baby Flawless and I'm going to try and mix it to get the green with our pressed shadow in Inconceivable. Okay. I would really like to use this with splurge cream because I think it would be easier to mix, but assertive is too dark. So that's why I'm going to try this instead. So what I'm going to do, and I think I'm probably going to mix this in my hands. I think that will be the easiest. So I'm going to try this with honey so it's a little bit darker. I don't want, like if I used um, cream or bisque, um, I would be afraid that it's too light and so it would make my green a little bit lighter. So we're going to try it with honey. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this brush, this is the deluxe brush, and I'm basically I'm going to pick up as much of this as I can on the brush and then without touching the BB in my hand I'm gonna kind of flick it off this brush okay so I'm getting I don't know if you can see it or not there are a little green specks everywhere so I'm gonna do that a couple of times like I said this would be much easier with splurge cream or what would be really good like if if a, the color is right. Splash mixed with the BB to make a colored look. Um, I mean, but obviously Bride of Frankenstein is not pink or purple <laughs> or any of those other shades. She's green. So, all right. I think I've got, I think I've got enough green on there now. So now I'm just going to rub them together and we'll see what happens. We'll see if it's enough. And it's probably not. You know, it took on a little bit of a greenish tint. But now I need more. So like I said, <laughs> this might not work at all. Alright, let's try again here. Let me clean off my hands a little bit. We need more green. We need more green. Like I said, if I was doing this with... Um, like if I needed a base that was like a purple color or a pink or even a red, then splash would be awesome with this. So you just put a little swipe of it on your hand, put the BB on top of it and call it a day. But because we want green, we're kind of limited to what green products we have. Now, having said this. If you have some of our old mineral pigments, those would be awesome with this. Because all you have to do is pour them out instead of trying to flick them off a brush to get the color you want. So like I said, I'm trying to get as much of that green powder into this BB as I can. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some green. There we go. Okay, so it's not as green as I want, but it does give me a little bit of a tint. I think that will work for now, just to get this going. And you know what? We're going to try something else here real quick. I just, I just had an idea. Okay. Because I was trying to think of a way to make the green stay a little bit more. And that's why I was attempting to mix it. But I think we might be able to just use a blusher brush in the straight up shadow instead of mixing them. Alright, so let's try that. Alright, clean my hands off here a little bit. Let's close up this BB. 
All right. So while this is still kind of tacky, before it soaks in. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. That way it's got something to stick to. Now, actually, if I was wearing this for an event, we would take a little bit longer, make sure we're getting it even. But the reason I'm doing these Halloween tutorials is kind of a reminder that if you are intending to do Halloween makeup, you got to get that stuff ordered. Um, we have a new shipping carrier, and it's kind of been hit and miss whether or not it is... Um, that your packages will get there in the same amount of time. Um, we were spoiled before and usually you could get, you know, they would say 10 days, but you could usually get it within two or three. And now with this new shipping carrier, it is taking about a week, but, ooh, um, you want to make sure you have your makeup and plenty of time for all your Halloween events. So, order early. Order early so you have it. All right. We're looking, we're looking a little green now. It's actually, it's looking more green in person than it is picking up on this camera for some reason. I think it's probably the shimmer in this, in this shadow. This would also be really cool for, like, um, the Wicked Witch of the West, you know? How cute would that be for a family costume, right? Get the Wicked Witch of the West. Dad can be the Tin Man. A little Cowardly Lion and a little Dorothy. And you can get the family dog in on it. All right. So I think, I think this will work. Um, it's not what I intended, obviously, with the BB, but it will work. I think doing it this way, and this is why I wanted to mix it with the BB, is it's harder to get it even. But if one doesn't work, you got to improvise. All right. So that's looking pretty good. All right. Let's move some stuff around here. I've got I got my big palette out. Big palette. It takes a lot of room. So I think we're done with that for a minute. All right. So now I'm going to clean out that brusher bl bl blusher brush. <laughs> oh, say that really fast. And I want to do, I want to give her some color in her cheeks still, okay? You know she is supposed to be a bride. So making sure we don't have any green in there. Um, actually, I'm going to use the brush cleaner really quick. This stuff, this stuff is awesome. It is saving my bacon. One spritz. Wipe it off on a towel. It gets all the product out of your brush. But it's not all wet and goopy, so now I can use this right away. That is one of the perks of our brush cleaner. I love this stuff. Love it, love it. I'm so happy that it's now a core product. So now we're going to take... This is our blusher in Sweet. I'm really going to kind of load this up here, and we're going to try and do this right over top of our green. Because we want a blushing bride. And if I had been thinking ahead on this, I probably would have put less green right here where I needed this blush to go so it would show up a little bit more. But we're just kind of winging it here. Okay. I mean, it's working. It's working. All right. And then when I found this online, like I, was, I looked up ideas like Halloween costumes, Halloween makeup, 
I put a little bit of pink right here. And it was so cute. So we're going to do the same thing. All right. So we got our green on. We got our blush. Let's clean that off again. Uh, let's do... Let's do some lips. Let's find the lip brush here. Oh, it's like a clean lip brush. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to try this with Sumptuous, which is a very light pink splash shade. Because I think it will complement that sweet blusher for our Bride of Frankenstein. I like to just dab it on there and then spread it out with this lip brush. Not a bit much right there. All right, now I'm actually going to go back to my eyes. We're going to break out that green shadow again and maybe a couple other colors. I want to kind of glam this up a little bit. So I'm going to take, for starters, a crease brush, and I'm going to use black. I'm going to use this legendary just to kind of deepen the crease. And then we're going to put some more of that green inconceivable right on top. So I don't need a whole, whole lot. I probably have too much on the brush. But putting this black in will give it a little bit of dimension. Outside my lines there, that's okay. So now, when I put the green on top of this, more green on top of this, um, it will look darker. So I'm going to grab that deluxe brush again, and I'm really going to press this onto my eyelids. So it'll stand out a little darker. Go. That looks pretty even. Right in there. Right there. Okay. So now, put those away. Never go anywhere without mascara, right? Oh, and I'm flinging stuff out of the makeup desk. I don't know where it went. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So. We're gonna do we're gonna do full eyes. We're gonna use our dip and draw liner. I'm gonna put some liner on, and we're gonna do our mascara. And then we're gonna come back to this dip and draw liner to do our little stitches. I think that will work great. All right, so go right along the lash line. Short strokes.
it's easier to do smaller little lines that are connected and then one big long one and if you want you can make a little wing A hard time with this because my lashes are so long they get in the way <laughs> so I get the liner all over my lashes instead of the edge of them where I want it especially on this left side where I'm doing things backwards waterproof for this. Mm. Oh, do you guys know the difference between these? Obviously one's waterproof, but that's how you tell the difference. The caps. So the waterproof one has this little dome shaped to it. So if you've got both of them in your makeup stash, that's the quick, easy way to tell the difference. I'm really liking this waterproof. I found that it's a little bit thicker than the original black. So especially if you are looking for more volume rather than length, the waterproof is probably a better choice. You can do as many coats of this as you wanted. If I was going to a Halloween party, I actually might um, do this waterproof and then use the fibers from the 3D fiber lashes. Um, the waterproof is a great medium for that. So I'd use it the same way as you do the fiber lashes plus. Do the waterproof, then put on your fibers while it's still wet. Let it set for a little bit and then do another coat of the waterproof on top of it. It does a great job of holding on to that. Holding on to those fibers so you get a little bit more length, a little more drama. And I feel like I got more on that other eye. So we'll come back and add a little more over here. There we go. Okay, so we got our eyes done. All right, now we gotta make her look, you know, like she's pieced together here, cause Dr. Frankenstein pieced her together. So we're gonna come back to that dip it draw liner. Let's see. We're gonna just draw. Two lines here. They can be sort of jagged. All right, let's see. Let's try down this way. But seriously, look how easy this is. It goes on so smooth. You don't have to like do several lines. Um, I mean, it just, it works. Okay, so then we draw some little Hashtags, maybe some little X's. Basically make it look like stitches. And that nice little brush applicator. It works so well. And 
if I was really doing this for the costume, I'd probably bring it down here a little bit farther on my neck. But I love looks like these for Halloween because then you don't have to go all out for the actual costume. Um, so much less expensive that way. So, I mean, for something like this, I would find a green hoodie and throw on a pair of jeans and maybe get a wig and you're done. So, super easy. Super fast. And then, because we don't want it to go anywhere, hit it with a little setting spray. Voila! I think we did pretty great. So, if you want to see a Halloween idea, if you want to see a regular look, let me know. Um, I should also point out, we base this look off of this month's kudos. So, you can save 30% on the makeup that you need to pull it off. And you can also use it after Halloween. So it's a great value. Super simple. Let me know if there's something you want to see, if you have any questions, and I would love to help you out. Have a great Sunday, guys.